Hey Tubers, welcome back. So, I did a bit of a live feed the other night with Mike released our counter, so to speak. Our um, sells a new home counter. We need to give this official name. Our cell count counter, counting cell counting counters. But basically we're trying to gather. It was, it was Jehu's idea a few weeks ago on a live feed Jehu had that he said that he wanted to sort of find a place we could actually... Um, work out how many cells we've all sort of accumulated and reused. As you know, that we have a, we have like a community of like a few thousand people. And I actually want to start a thing because I think the average people have like process like, I don't know, a few thousand cells. So if we add up what our little community has as process and kept from the recycling thing, I think we're going to be in the hundreds of thousands if we're not nearing like in the million cells that we have uh, put into power walls and stuff. Mike, our, um, our web guy, has created a form of sorts, database, I guess, on the DIY Power Walls forum, link below or here. And basically, it's just a form with four fields. How many cells you've reused, average cell count, your country, and whether or not you've got a thread on our forum or not. So if you've got a thread on the forum, that's really handy because it validates how many cells you've got and it also shares with the rest of the world and we grow as a community. It's really easy to use. If you look over here on the screen, basically we're only using uh, cells that are 3.6 to 3.7 volts in an 18650 format. We're not counting bad cells. So we're only counting the cells that we can actually currently use in our power wall. It doesn't matter if they're actually in use or they've just been processed and they've been processed as good reusable cells. I myself have added mine. I did have mine set at 4,420, but I do have that 1,120. My math is all wrong. We know I hate maths. So I've added up mine. I've put mine to 5,600 cells, which is the cell count that I have that is usable. And then with an average of 2,400 milliamp hours, which gives me 49.73 kilowatt hours kilowatt hours we all know what that means but anyways we've given 90 at the time of writing this story 96,666 cells a new home and that's set eight uh, 781 kilowatt hours of storage capacity that is huge and if you ever looked you can scroll down we've got a couple there with 1440 cells uh, 900 and 9,600 cells and then there's another 9,000. Those people will probably need to actually prove that they have that many cells as they do not have, I can't find much proof that they have those cells at all. And we really want to weed out, we don't want any fake ones, this has got to be real. So keep it real guys. So head on over to the forum, have a look, have a look through the list add to it share it so we can if you've got any friends or family or whatever they're doing the same thing but don't want to be public load it up even if you're doing an e-bike or something like that um, a scooter or any project um, if you've got an electric car doing I uh, think that, that naggy fella on um, on the forum right down the bottom of the page on the home page is a car section he's building an MG midget out of used laptop cells so yeah pretty cool thanks to Mike for all your work with the forum uh, he is working on upgrading it um, and doing some stuff in the background all the time. I'd like to thank all of the people that have helped get me get the forum this far. We've got a lot of people that contribute daily to the forum. And I think we're over 10,000 page, page views a day. I think there's a lot more than that. Um, but everything's traveling along really well. I'm really happy to see the community growing and sharing all their, all their adventures and stuff like that. So, Tubers, thanks very much for tuning in. And I'll see you on the next one.